The Master Chief Petty Officer, aka Spartan 117, who we have all come to know as John, started his life back on the planet of Iridanus 2 of the Iridani system. Since then, as a childborn hero, his story didn't start out so easy. Just as every hero's story goes, rough trials proceeded, dark times rolled in, and thus he overcame it all, eventually becoming a savior, one of which we have all come to know and love. This is the origins of not only the Master Chief in his Spartan career, but also the origins of a long-awaited war hero that would one day save the human race countless times. Born on March 7th, 2511, John began his life with his mother and father in Elysium City on Iridanus II, a planet of political power and rough times during the insurrection era. He attended the Elysium City Primary Education Facility No. 119. As a child, John had brown hair, freckles, and a small gap between his front teeth. The would-be UNSC Marine Lieutenant Parisa was a childhood friend of John's. He once saved her from drowning at Lake Yusev, after which John promised to marry her and keep her safe. A photo of the two was also taken by Parisa's father soon after, and would be kept as a memory by Parisa long after she thought John had passed away. Throughout his childhood, John had always showed extreme potential of his acrobatics, maneuvers, and strength, a lot of which he demonstrated through his childhood playing games, one of which was commonly practiced throughout the war games, King of the Hill. This rough game housed the huge attention span of many witnesses, and soon to be spread to even Dr. Catherine Halsey herself, the original creator of the Oni Section 3 Spartan 2 program. Eventually, this would lead to tragedy, one of which was absolutely necessary to win the war, not not only against the current threatening tide of growing insurrectionists, but an oncoming invasion of malevolent force, the Covenant as well. Eventually as time passed, Dr. Halsey listed her final 72 candidates for the Spartan program. There were 150 overall, one of which was the young boy John. She had inevitably sent herself along with Captain Keys on a quote recon mission aboard the homeworld of candidate 117. This led to his blindfolded abduction without widespread attention, and he would be thrown into the program him without a choice. A Flash clone was created in John's place, so people wouldn't suspect anything. However, John's clone, as well as a great majority of others, died very shortly after he was abducted due to very fatal illness. Many other candidates followed, including blue team members Kelly, Fred, Samuel, and Linda. Thus, John's planned future with Parissa was forcefully left behind him. All aboard, abducted at the age of only six years old, these boys and girls were trained by Commander Petty Officer Chief Mendez. John had to participate in many hard and straining training practices during the war games. John was recognized to be a potential great leader of a Spartan team by both Halsey and Mendez. Candidates were trained aggressively all the way into the age of 14, when they were augmented with super enhanced medicine and steroid matters, some of which were so powerful that many of the Spartan 2 candidates did not survive its effects. Obviously from Halo 4, we all know that the librarian handpicked Chi for a greater purpose beforehand, perhaps being the reason why John survived the augmentation process so flawlessly. As all hopes seemed to fade and countless Spartans died in the lines of battle during the war, there were only a few that survived it all, one of which was John a hero that one day the entire human race would come to recognize. The hero that would eventually bring the Covenant to its knees. And that wraps up this lore video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to drop a like. Brandon and I worked very hard on it, and any support is extremely appreciated. With that being said, let us know what Halo lore you would like us to cover in the comments. And let us know if you'd like to hear more about the Master Chief, or if you already know his full story. Don't forget to share the video with your friends, and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.